Hey, it's JC and welcome to Small Brick City. This is going to be a really interesting video because I'm going to tell you about a brand new project we're working on. It's called the Small Brick Town Project. Now, what happens if you want to build a Lego city, but you don't have the space, you don't have the money to buy modular buildings or to build big expensive mocks? Well, the key then is to go small. And that is the essence of the Small Brick Town Project we are going to build a collection of small modular buildings. So they need to be able to separate by the floor and the roof can come out just as you would any standard modular building. All the buildings will be smaller in scale. So they'll measure 12 studs across and 16 studs deep. They'll be just slightly smaller than a regular modular building. The whole point of a small brick city is to maximize space and therefore we will build upwards. Now, even though the buildings are going to be smaller, they're all going to be minifig scale. So what we're going to do is to build at least eight of these mini modular buildings. To make it even more interesting, we're going to try to take as many existing official Lego sets as possible and modify them to fit our needs. This is the Small Brick Town Project, and let's kick off the series with this familiar build. This is a modification of the Corner Deli, set 31050. It is actually one of my favorite small buildings from the LEGO Creator series. However, the original design is much smaller and it opens up to form a corner and the back is opened up, so it's a dollhouse type design. What we did was change the structure of the building but retain the essence of the original design. It is larger, taller and fits the specifications of the Small Brick Town project. Here's a look at the size comparison when set side by side with the brick bank. It is roughly about one third the size of a modular building and that's the size that all the buildings in the small brick town project will be. Here's a look at the exterior of the building. If you're familiar with the original design, we kept many of the original elements such as the corner design element, the front facade, the very nice sandwich 3D design, the railing, the colour scheme and the overall look of the building. Besides changing the building and adapting it to become a modular style building, we did make it taller by adding an attic. Let's have a look at the interior of the building floor by floor. The roof was slightly changed to accommodate the difference in size of the building and we still kept that very nice little antenna at the top corner of the building. The roof comes off just like a regular modular building. The storage attic is very short, however it's meant just to store items and here you can see some extra supplies for the corner deli, some bottles of drink, cans, and other good stuff. And a minifig can access the attic using the ladder. The second floor is the office of the owner of the corner deli. You can see him relaxing on his office chair, but also going through some mail. The interior is slightly decorated with a desk littered with various items. There's a shelf with various knickknacks, decorations on the wall, a little chest of drawers and a lamp. There's a fireplace at the top right corner of the screen and that actually leads up a chimney which is also extending out at the top of the roof. There's also access to this floor by way of another ladder. The ground floor is the actual public area of the deli. That's a chiller with some drinks and some desserts on top of it. There's a standing dining area at the front corner of the deli. There's a babysitter right now feeding the baby and herself with a nice big sandwich. Next to the dining area is the kitchen, complete with stove, oven and grill. And there's a takeout window right at the kitchen in front of the deli. And finally, there's a set of brick built steps that lead us to the ladder shown from the previous floor. Did you like the first build of our small brick town project? Let me know by leaving a comment and subscribe to our channel to follow the progress of all our mini modular buildings. This is going to be fun, so stay tuned as we churn out these buildings. If you enjoyed this video, like it and share it. Also head down to smallbrickcity.com because I know a lot of you haven't checked it out just yet. Stay tuned for the next video coming up soon.